just had a little day out in, um, in Nijmegen, sorry, it's raining. So walking back to the bus now. Just um, something on my mind with, um, you know, this whole like carousel of transfer window, transfer market, football clubs, doing your time, waiting, keeping busy, trying to contact people. It's, it's crazy, you know, it causes a lot of stress and there's not a lot you can do about it really, just to focus on your own things and hope something comes up really. But that's what I've been doing, keeping training, keeping as fit as possible, watching my diet a little bit and um, yeah, just working hard to contact people. This is one of the, yeah, one of the longest times I suppose I've been without a club. Before the last time I had to go back to New Zealand with Auckland City and then yeah, apart from that, that's this is the this is the second longest time. So, yeah, it is what it is, really. I can't really do much more about that. Just when you think you're having a bit of success, football always kicks you down, and you got to stay really humble and working hard. You can't expect anything from from anyone, no matter how well you think or you are doing. You just have to keep your head down and keep working. So, yeah, that's the situation now, and keep moving forward. Just finished a good training with the guys there. We just did a, yeah, a little warm up, started a bit of feet work, passing like tight tight things just to kind of get a warm-up in did a little bit of passing there and then I wanted to really work on um, yeah doing a little bit more shooting today so we did a few exercises with a few shots afterwards it was very good I felt all right you know it's something that I definitely need to keep working on uh, and you know a question that I have that comes up a lot like why why should you work on shooting when you're a defender so for me mostly it's just it gives me that feeling of the ball so when you're shooting against the net it just yeah it's another skill it's just another feeling of of the ball so that also helps you with your long passing your striking like all these kind of things it's helping for but really the touch on the ball the feeling and and that's why really I, I like to do shooting practice it, it makes me feel comfortable on the ball and it just helps in general you know it's important to mix up your training and do quick quick feet short work passing and then shooting is also a part of football so it's important um that's my thoughts about that really i had the two guys there helping me out a little bit they they also got a little bit of work in we have two trainings today so gonna recover we just had like a quick sandwich at, at uh, bucker bart they're just the normal like pesto and tomato sandwich so yeah gonna go relax and get ready for the second training later tonight so i'm not sure what we're gonna do in the team training but should be good check in later and uh i'll get the training up and yeah let you guys know what we did technique session today with the lads ready ready yeah just coming into a bit of a voiceover part of of the video uh, I'm I'm speaking over this training section so you can see and I'll also put up the, the exercises which I'm making at the same time so we'll get into that and so yeah I just wanted to speak a little bit about focusing on the things you can control and and not control you know there's no point in stressing and in times you know when you're down and having problems and in in situations that you cannot control you must focus on the things that only you can control and then the things that you can't control they have to figure themselves out so for example in my situation at the moment i don't have a football club i i don't i don't have control 100 percent over everything about that so of course with how I played in the past, etc., etc. But that's also the past. I must focus on the present and what I'm doing now, which is is working hard, training, and doing my thing, building my contacts, continuing to train every day and stay in the best possible fitness and physique that I can. And and that's it. I can't control a club 100% wanting me or not. So. 
that's that's the situation now so to cause cause unneeded stress you know of course i could be worrying and and saying and stressing out that you know i want to club and to get things going fast it just doesn't help you know with what i've what i've experienced in the past you must all almost stay busy yourself and and keep working on on your your controllables which is training diet physique and just staying pretty much 24 7 and in, in the game and football building your contacts checking up with them and keeping up to date with all the things that are going on and apart from that really you can't can't do a lot except yeah maybe send out your own kind of emails and try to fix things like that but I've never had success with that so I, I don't think that's working uh, so well so I, I'm still trusting the people who I've put my put my trust in and and still waiting and hoping for something back I'm focusing on my things and trusting them to do do their job do their business they've they've found me things before so I, I do trust them with what they're doing that's that's all I can do really so keep up maybe some backup options try to keep busy with that and yeah just staying very present enjoying the moment and being as positive as possible and keep working and improving on my game as much as I can which I'm doing really maintaining my physique doing some good technique training which which I love really blessed to be able to train with a top quality technique trainer Arno Arts and to be able to keep doing these things by myself and with a few friends it's I'm very lucky to be able to do that and and you know yeah just really blessed so I just have to thank everyone who's around me and who allows me to be able to continue what I'm doing and enjoy enjoy football. That's that's the number one and most important thing I think. I'm just gonna let this video play a little bit. Uh, this is just a bit of a personal training video that I did with a few of the boys you know really enjoyable training really just having fun keeping some points and having some competitions with each other yeah, it was super windy so yeah sorry about the camera for that the noise of the camera. Yeah. Yeah, Just like what I was saying, you know, it's a good, um, good training session this morning. 
you got to really make the most with what you've got and you know what I've got at the moment is I'm, uh, I'm available to get some balls I can get some cones uh, very fortunate that I can do that and also the fields are open at the moment for me so that's that's perfect so you're gonna make the most of with what you've got really uh, I had yeah there's some new guys who's just come to start training at Achilles so they're living also in the little town here so I told them if they were keen to do a training session again and they were in so that's always better for the numbers when you can get more people the better really so it was a good training today actually like I said more shooting shooting based uh, did a few bit of work for passing and good good warm-up I didn't get all the footage on there but yeah it was good and just a little bit about it like when you're moving around you know you don't always have the best facilities you don't always have the best equipment um, but it's all those extra things that count all the extra work that you do before training after training uh, lifestyle diet mentality and and you know your extra technique training is a big part of that that's something that's really beneficial and that's helping me especially a lot because I need touches on the ball and that's what you get with technique training just very blessed and grateful that these people were able to come and help me out today and yeah it was working good it was a good training uh, ready for tonight got to rest recover and eat eat now as well I'm doing this intermittent fasting still so yeah my windows are between between 2 and 8 uh, I actually was a little bit earlier this morning because I wanted to get some food in after training so yeah I'm obviously not going to eat at 8 because we start training so I'll probably finish my eating window at like maximum 7 maybe I could get in a banana or something as my last little thing go grab some pasta before that um, everything's going good feeling good uh, yeah I'm in pretty good shape gotta keep training and maybe do a little bit more fitness things maybe a bit of running uh, I've started going to the gym now so that's good so I've got to keep up with my fitness work pretty much that's it gonna go get ready pick up Isis rest eat then go to training check in in a bit ciao <laughs> Kadir, bro, how was training today, bro? It was good, man. Yes, it was good. Man. How many goals you scored? Live, bro. Live. Sam, tell me something. How many goals? <laughs> <laughs> Just to sign out, that was my day, my training schedule. In the training, we played four times, 15 minutes of full game. I played right center back, and I played really well, actually. So. Yeah, pretty happy with how I'm feeling, my conditioning, um, my my footwork was good, my passing was very good, I was very comfortable and confident on the ball, um, I played really good, I'm pretty confident going into the, the next stage of, yeah, what's happening in football, I'm just hopefully some hearing something back soon, so just signing out, checking out, good night, and... Peace.